Based on the data of the Ministry of Environment and Forestry of 2021, it is revealed that the recycling process has reached only 46% out of the total 19.66 million tons of plastic and paper waste. This surely has contributed to the global issue of climate change in consequence. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The Honorable Judges, my name is Nur Shifana Diastuti. I feel deeply honored to stand here as a MAWA president of Universitas Negeri Jakarta to deliver an informative speech about SDGs number 13, Climate Action. Ladies and gentlemen, addressing the above mentioned circumstance, a question may be elicited. Why does the paper recycling rate remain low? Yet there has been technology in abundance that can be used in support of the pulp and paper industry to solve this problem. Well, think about being the agent of change. So here I am to propose the idea of paper waste management that will not only lead to the reduction of the paper waste impact, but also to incredibly increase the value of the waste itself. Implementing the regulation of the government number 27 of 2020 regarding waste management, we can actively participate in minimizing more complex problems dealing with paper waste. Technologically, paper waste can be managed in a more effective and efficient manner. I was thinking of having a sort of platform designed unifiedly to serve two major features, namely connection and marketplace features. Now, let me first explain about the connection feature. The connection feature provides a drop box for various stakeholders involved in the recycling process that allows people to drop their paper waste by inputting such data as specification, quantity, pickup location, contact person, and picture. From the data, it will help the other stakeholder track the waste down to meet the needs and later pick the waste up. A transaction occurs as dropping and picking up activities work well. As a result, having this feature, the value of the waste should increase. The idea of reducing paper waste will unexpectedly transform into the idea of gaining profit. The following, ladies and gentlemen, it is marketplace feature. This feature provides a marketplace so that the community can buy and sell goods or products made of paper waste. For example, secondhand books, crafts, and others. Similar to the former, this feature will put the items into certain products categories that is the buyers or sellers to seek what they want to have. This marketplace can uniquely visualize and measure potential goods and products by using augmented reality. It certainly promotes creativity and entrepreneurship, encouraging individuals to see value in materials that would otherwise be discarded. Both features are basically a breakthrough in paper waste management to gain value added. Thus, it is absolutely possible to manage the paper waste by optimizing technology in order to improve the quality of the waste itself. Ladies and gentlemen, Implementing this idea nonetheless requires cooperation from various parties, including community, industry, and government. The two former serve as the agent directly involved in the paper waste management, whilst the government serves as the policymaker to support the innovation, for instance, the license, regulation, and other do's and don'ts. Ladies and gentlemen, it is evident that the paper waste issue driving to climate change in needs a deep concern because it is in line with SDGs number 13, climate action. The paper waste management is a real implementation of being an agent of change. So, having the platform I recommended will be the evidence how I can bring up the technology in this paper waste management. Thank you.